I'm referring, of course, to Joe LaDuke, and uh, Mr. LaDuke has returned to the state of Georgia. That's right, Gordon. I've been coming to the state of Georgia because Georgia championship wrestling has become a very interesting and very powerful in the wrestling world. And I've traveled all over the world, and I've come here because there's a lot of money to be given. There's a lot of prime prize. And like everybody else, I like money, and I like to be on top. I like to be number one. That's why I'm here. Well, I'll tell you something. In a moment, we're going to see something that uh, they talk about various programs and talk about things being incredible. What we're going to see in just a moment that this man does is, in my opinion, absolutely incredible. He actually pulls a bus by himself, and we're not talking about a, a, a little bus. No, it's a city bus, and it weighs 22,000 pounds. And, That's uh, about 10 tons. If you can roll that film now, you can see by yourself. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's take a look at this absolutely amazing feat of strength by Joe LaDuke. All right, of course, there's a lot of conversation going on here and a lot of people watching uh, Joe and exactly what are you intending to do here? Well, I'm going to pull the bus. Uh, this happened in Minneapolis, Minnesota in the wintertime. Um, it's at the city uh, bus station in Minneapolis, St. Paul. And if you wait a couple of seconds, you'll find out. All right, attaching chains now to the uh, to the front bumper of the bus, and uh, they're checking to make sure. Obviously, uh, a slip or a fall here could be extremely dangerous. That's right. You can't fall in front of a bus that's moving. <laughs> they're very heavy. Twenty-two thousand pound. Uh, Minneapolis St. Paul Municipal Bus and uh, you're putting those chains around yourself now and uh, obviously putting some padding there to make sure it doesn't cut right through the uh, flesh which it would have to do with the tremendous pressure exerted. That's right, it's a chain. Uh, you don't have a strap to uh, cover your back. It's a chain so that's why you got to put some protection on your back so the chain doesn't uh, injure your vertebra or your spine. <clears throat> Obviously, uh, last-minute preparations here, uh, girding yourself. Imagine, too, that emotionally, don't you have to really get yourself psyched up for, to attempt this? You have to uh, have a lot of concentration. I like to see this bus is very heavy. I'm going to concentrate myself right now, and the bus is going to move. There's, a, there's only one way I could get out of that. If the bus don't move, I'm going to die there. All right, tremendous uh, effort here, and now the bus actually beginning to move. That's right, it's moving. I would have died there before. And here's where you almost got into real trouble again. Uh, you did slip on the ice and fall down, but uh, uh, you're back to your feet. You'd pull that bus, I guess, a good uh, eight or ten feet by then. Well, you got to take the consequences. You can't take the heat to get out of the kitchen, right? Well, that uh, certainly is a... <laughs> Quite a comment indeed. That was, of course, uh, Larry the Axe Hennig, I believe, uh, with you at that time. He was my partner at the time, and we had a real good over one year in, in all the northern state. Let me ask you, of course, now that you are back here in the state of Georgia, and of course, uh, uh, Thursday you'll be making your first uh, uh, appearance here uh, wrestling at the Omni itself. Like I said before, Mr. Soli, I'm here because there's a lot of prize be given in by Georgia Championship Wrestling. And I like money, and I'm here for the prize. Uh, I understand there's a two-ring battle royal on Christmas Day night, and it's the biggest prize ever given before. There's $30,000 going to the winners of that battle royal. That's something you're looking forward to. That's right. I think you, uh, you know what, what is the rule in the double-ring battle royal. Uh, everybody start in one ring and throw as many people as they can in the second ring. And the two left in the first ring will face the two left in the second ring. Exactly. You're hoping to be one of those four, then? Well, I guarantee you, Mr. Soli, uh, I'm here because I'm the king of the battle royal. And for $30,000, I can get along with anybody. Interesting point. Thank you so very much, Joe LaDuke. Point. I think Mr. Jerry Briscoe won't uh, be in the battle royal. Oh. Well, when the 
freight train speaks, uh, uh, people listen. There's no...